Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss few past paper questions from the topic momentum and impulse. Let's start. So, type of questions in this videos are to find the momentum using the formula mass times velocity, find the change of momentum using mv minus mu that is final momentum minus initial momentum, find the impulse using the formula force times time and the very important equation that is impulse equal mv minus mu. Sometimes they ask you to find force f equal mv minus mu divided by t time means time equal mv minus mu divided by f. Points to remember while uh, dealing with uh, questions from the topic momentum and impulse. The main point is momentum is a vector quantity, so direction matters. And to find change in momentum use mv minus mu, but be very careful with the direction if it is in the same direction mv minus mu. If the final velocity direction changes in some questions means you have to use negative sign that is minus mv. And for collision problems you may find total momentum, but here also use negative sign for opposite direction uh, like here. Here this is plus when the object comes from this side then we have to use negative sign that is minus. If two objects stick together means you have to add both mass while dealing with questions. Let us discuss the first question. An object of mass 4.0 kilogram is moving with a velocity of 3.0 meter per second in a straight line what is the momentum of the object. So, you can pause this video and you can try by yourself. Let us discuss with the answer. The momentum formula is mass times velocity. Let us substitute the values and we get 12 kilogram meter per second. So, the answer is C. Let us discuss the second question. An object is moving at plus 3.0 meter per second. A force acts on the object. After a time, the object is moving at minus 4.0 meter per second. The mass of the object is 5.0 kilogram. What is the change in momentum of the body? Let us discuss the answer. The change in momentum formula is mv minus mu. Here we are substituting the mass value 5.0 kilogram. Here the final velocity is given as minus 4.0. So, here also we have taken minus 4.0 meter per second then minus initial velocity 3.0 meter per second. So, we will get minus 35 kilogram meter per second. So, the answer is A. Let us discuss this third question. A ball has a mass of 0 0.30 kilogram. It moves horizontally with a speed of 3.0 meter per second in the direction shown. The ball hits a wall. The ball rebounds from the wall with a horizontal speed of 2.0 meter per second. What is the change in momentum of the ball? The formula for change in momentum is final momentum minus initial momentum. So, let us find the final momentum. So, the final momentum is m v. Here the same ball. So, the mass will be same for both final and initial momentum. So, 0 0.30 kilogram times here is the important point here this velocity has a change in direction. You can see at first in this direction, but when it hits the wall its direction changes. So, the velocity will be negative. So, we have to use minus 
2.0 meter per second. So, we get the final momentum as minus 0 0.6 kilogram meter per second. Then initial momentum will be 0 0.30 kilogram times 3.0 meter per second and we get 0 0.9 kilogram meter per second. So, let us substitute in this equation final momentum is minus 0 0.6 minus initial momentum is 0 0.9 we get minus 1.5 kilogram meter per second. Ignore this negative sign because it represents the change in direction. So, the answer is C that is 1.5 kilogram meter per second. Let us discuss about this fourth question. A ball with a 3.0 Newton force hitting on a wall and have a contact with the wall for 2 minutes. Calculate the impulse. The formula for impulse is force times time. Then let us substitute the force value 3.0 Newton and here the time is in minutes. So, we have to convert into seconds. Then the answer will be 360 Newton seconds. So, the answer is B. Let us discuss this fifth question. An object of mass 3.0 kilogram travelling at a speed of 6.0 meter per second collides with an object of mass 2.0 kilogram travelling in the opposite direction at a speed of 2.0 meter per second. The objects stick together during the collision. What is the speed and direction of the combined mass after the collision? So, here it is about collision question. So, we can find total momentum. So, let us find the momentum this side P equal mv. So, 3 times 6 equal 18 kilogram meter per second. Let us find the momentum for this side P equal mv and uh, mass is 2.0 kilogram. Here is the again important point. Here the direction is in the opposite. So, we have to use minus 2.0 meter per second. So, we get minus 4.0 kilogram meter per second. Let us find the total momentum 18 plus minus 4.0. So, we is the total momentum, but in the question they asked us to find speed. So, we use m v equal the total momentum from this v equal the total momentum divided by mass here they are sticking together. So, we have to use total mass that is 5 3.0 plus 2.0 then we get the velocity 2.8 meter per second. It will move towards the right because here you can see uh, this side momentum is more than this side. So, it will be moving to the right. Let us discuss with the sixth question. A car of mass 1000 kilogram traveling at 8.0 meter per second collides with a lorry of mass 3000 kilogram that is traveling at 2.0 meter per second in the same direction. After colliding the two vehicles stick together. So, what is their speed after the collision? So, here is about collision. So, better we find total momentum. Let us find the momentum of car m times v. We get 8000 kilogram meter per second. Let us find the momentum of lorry that is 6000 kilogram meter per second. The total momentum will be 8000 plus 6000. Here they are in the same direction. So, no negative sign and the momentum is 14000 kilogram meter per second, but the question is to find the speed. So, m v equal the total momentum 
and V equal total momentum divided by mass. Here again it is sticking together. So, we have to take the total mass of lorry and car. So, when we substitute we get 3.5 meter per second. So, the answer is C. Let us discuss with the seventh question. A footballer kicks a stationary football. His foot is in contact with the ball for 0 0.050 seconds. The mass of the ball is 0 0.40 kilogram. The speed of projection of the ball is 25 meter per second. And uh, we are going to find the force exerted on the ball by his foot. So, here time given mass given speed given and they asked us to find force. So, let us go with impulse equal change in momentum, but here there is no change in momentum in this question only one momentum. So, we take only m v. Let us rearrange the formula in terms of force f equal m v divided by t. Let us substitute mass times velocity divided by time we get 200 Newton as the answer that is C. Let us discuss this eighth question. A tennis ball has a mass of 57 gram. The tennis player hits the tennis ball with a tennis racket. The tennis ball has a velocity of 25 meter per second when it hits the racket. The velocity of the tennis ball when it leaves the player's racket is 15 meter per second in the opposite direction from its approaching direction. The average force exerted by the tennis racket on the ball is 35 Newton. For how long is the tennis ball in contact with the tennis racket? So, we are going to find how long means that is time. Let us use the equation impulse equal change in momentum and let us rearrange the equation in terms of time equal mass times v minus u divided by f. Here the mass is in gram, so it must be converted into kilogram and here is the final velocity 15 meter per second in opposite direction. So, we have to use minus 15 meter per second. So, mass and minus 15 minus 25 divided by the force value 35 Newton we get 0 0.065 seconds. Ignore negative sign, it indicates the change in direction. So, the answer is C. Let us discuss this theory question. Figure 3.1 shows a collision at a very slow speed between two cars traveling along a straight road. Car B of mass 800 kilogram is moving at 2.0 meter per second and collides with a car A of mass 1000 kilogram which is stationary. After the collision both cars travel in the same direction as the initial direction of car B. After the collision car A moves at 1.3 meter per second show that the speed of car B after the collision is approximately 0 0.4 meter per second. So, here also it is about collision, but please do remember here the collision is in the same direction. So, we find change in momentum not total momentum, because here both are in the same direction and one car is in stationary. So, let us find the momentum of car B that is 1600 kilogram meter per second. Let us find the momentum of car A that is 1300 kilogram meter per second. So, let us find the change in momentum that is 300 kilogram meter per second. So, we are going to find the speed. So, m v equal change in momentum, v equal change in momentum divided by mass. In this question, they have asked speed of car B. So, 
we have to take only the mass of car B that is 800. So, the final answer will be 0 0.375 that is approximately 0 0.4 meter per second. So, in this question points to remember is even though it is having collision they are in the same direction even though they are colliding we are taking only the mass of one car because in the question they have asked us to find the speed of only car B. Hope you understood.